Yes. Cal, you mentioned Devin and Tyler, sort of how they, they fuel your practices. They talked today about meeting at a camp in eighth grade and a bunch of camps after that sort of deciding they were going to go to the same place. Did you, did you feel like once you got Tyler, you were, you were going to get Devin? Is that the order it went in? That's what, that's what he said, yeah. All I know is you, you have two competitive young people who want to get better. They're a little dinged up right now, but they don't use it. They, they try. And they've driven our practice. Now, they're not the only ones. There are times Dakari will dominate. Uh, Trey Lyles has gotten so much better in the last three weeks, he's not even the same player he was. It's scary how good he's gotten. But it's nice when it starts on the ball, and it's nice when it starts on ball pressure. It kind of feeds everyone else. And then the other team sees it, and that they feed off of each other. Same thing's happening in the game. I mean, both teams are feeding off each other, but you know, one of the things, we don't expect them to make every shot, and they're going to turn it over some, and they're going to make some dumb plays. But we expect them to compete at a high level. That's what they've been doing. You say dinged up, Cal. How are you physically? We're okay. I'm fine. I'm walking okay. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're, 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 we're okay. We just, you know, the normal stuff. Did Alex have his surgery? He's having it this, uh, he left early this morning. He'll have it tomorrow. You focus a lot on, on your guards during this camp, Cal, especially. Uh, what, what basically what, what you focus? Well, again, I, here, I told you before Louisville, we looked at, and I talked publicly about it, our defensive rebounding was atrocious, and we zeroed in on it. And now this week we zeroed in on two or three things, really one with a couple side items that we just wanted to make sure we were getting better at. Um, after we get through this week, it may shift to something else. Uh, what I did with the guards was really a simple thing to get them to think different as they play, and which is some of the things I did a year ago. Um, tried to get uh, Julius Randle, here's how I want you to play. I need you to think different. And you're capable of doing this. Most of the things I ask him to do are just harder. Um, yesterday, Dakari Johnson ran so hard and posted so – and scored so quickly, and I stopped him. I said, you can do that, but that's really difficult. So you choose not to. You choose to jog down, catch the ball, ball fake, ball fake, bounce it, bounce it, and not hit the rim. Like, not get it to the rim. Your other way is I sprint, I fight, I quickly make a move on one, and I score, and I look really good. But that's really hard. I mean, the same things with what I'm asking these guards. Some of the stuff we did as a team was geared toward guard play. Some of the stuff we did individually that I did with the guards, you ready? I also did with the big guys. The same thing I'm teaching the guards right now, I'm teaching the big guys. And they're not – I'm not teaching them, here's how we play, so you've got to be able to do this. This is just playing basketball. To be a good player, you've got to be able to do this. And you're not doing this right now. So, we'll see. Cal, what do you think of – several of the SEC coaches said you guys are head and shoulders above everybody else, not just in the league, but in the country. What do you think about that in terms of keeping the guys engaged? Well, that's the, the challenge we have right now. And I, one of the things that I've done is uh, I ask them, you, it's, if you know how I am, this is about these kids. So I went to them and said, what do you want to add to your game? Every one of you here, tell me what you want to add. Figure it out, spend a day, if you don't know, Ask a coach what you can add to how you play. And then our job will be to help you add that. Now, you're going to have to work. But if you do add it to your game, I will add it to how we play. Some things we did with Willie, now we've changed a little bit offensively so he can do the things he wants to do and add to his game. But he's going to have to work at it. Why am I doing that? I'm trying to keep him engaged. Why am I focusing on one or two things every 10 days, 12 days, 7 days for the same reason? We just got to keep them engaged. It's kind of like when they watch video. If they watch video of themselves, they can stay focused for four hours, five hours, not even go to the bathroom. <laughs> just watch it. If they're watching team video, you got them for about three, four minutes. 
So part of this is I want them engaged individually. We got you. You got to have each other. I know they care about the team. So I'm, I'm kind of shifting this away from team and putting it on how do we get individuals better. When you talk about learning from losing, even if you guys aren't losing on the court, does it help that you have a group that can go out and lose and practice in a given day and sort of be driven by that? You talked about. Yeah, yes, a few days ago, white smashed the blue, and then two days ago, blue absolutely smashed the white. They had no chance. And that's how it's been. And if you don't show, that's what's happening. And if one guy on your team doesn't show, that's what happens. When they really are going at each other, what happens is it's like touch and go, and there's, it gets physical, and they get you know, emotional, and they talk. And like I told them, we've had nine days between games, but we've played each other probably at least four of those days we played each other, which is a heck of a game. So, you know, we're competing, and, and again, it comes back to those guards, how they're playing and they're challenging. Aaron and Andrew have been better. Trey Lyles is, is the guy right now that I just see the confident level, and mainly because he's doing it in games, demonstrated performance. He's now believing more. He's playing harder. He wins the they're, – they're hooked up to a monitor to talk about how much they exert during a game and how much they sprint. Of the big guys, he's first every game. He sprints. Now, you have to understand, it was only a month ago that I was on him because he wasn't sprinting. Whatever you tell him, he listens to and he does. Now, you've always wanted guys, when somebody's not performing, you wanted your players to tell that guy to get on that guy. Do those competitive practices help generate some Yeah, of that? They, they're doing it some, but there were some other plays where I'm telling the blue, why are you making me tell him? You tell him. I don't need to tell them. So we're still there. That's, that's the point where they're empowered. This team is farther along in that than teams I've had here in the past. You know, this is, well, again, let, let's be real. I finally have a veteran team. Um, if for some reason this goes to two years, hopefully this is what you see every year. Half the team is veteran, the other half are young, and you figure out how they play together, and you, you got enough to compete like this. But um, right now, we're losing teams. We're losing teams and coming in with new guys, so that it's hard to empower those guys. Yeah, well, but there's no ranked team in the SEC besides you guys. Yeah, Arkansas is ranked, and you got South Carolina getting votes. You got Georgia getting votes. You got LSU getting votes. So it's it's better than you think. And our RPI is, I think, two or three. I mean, uh, South Carolina just beat Iowa State, who's a ranked team. I mean, uh, Mississippi State, who they say is struggling, beat Florida State. I mean, the league is better than everybody gives them cre us credit for and our teams are credit for. So, um, but, you know, for us right now, our focus is on us. Our focus is on how do we improve individual players? How do we get them even closer? Are there small things that we can do to make our team better? But those are areas that we're, we're zeroed in on more than, you know, like I said, if we're – if we play really well and lose, I'm going to be fine with it. Now, if we play poorly and win, I'm going to be upset. It means we're slipping. And so we're focused on us. How do we keep growing? How do we keep going? And there may be someone that plays out of their mind. Mississippi is going to shoot 25 threes in this game, maybe more. If they make 20, we lost our first game. They're shooting 25. And you, they are shooting them. And their three guards are their leading scorers. Their three guards take more than 50% of their shots. They offensive rebound 13, 14 a game. They're going to play a, a zone where they're changing defenses. It could confuse us. And if they're making shots, you know, we got to try to drive them off the three-point line. But you just, when you're playing teams that are willing to shoot that many, you just don't know. Cal, these guys, do they want to learn more than other groups you've been? They are. I told them yesterday the uniqueness of this group is I'll come off the road and it's 11 o'clock at night and we'll have three and four guys in the gym. All right, granted, they walked 12 steps to the gym, okay? So it's not like they had to go across campus, railroad tracks, and get in a bus to get here. They go 12 steps and they're in the building. But they're here. Um, they're calling coaches to come over. Um, you know, they're, they're getting extra stuff in. Um, they're they're wired different. They you know, they know they got to continue to work and get better. Can you give us a couple of examples of what guys told you? I want to add this to my game, or you know, you're going to try now to incorporate that. In your team. 
Well, you, you had Willie wants to handle the ball more. Okay. Then you can't run people over and throw lob passes off the shot clock. But you want to handle it more. Okay, then we're going to get in the gym and we're going to work on your handle and we're going to add that into how we play. But it's your responsibility. We're going to work with you. And then you got to understand, here's how I've got to play if I want to handle the ball more. <coughs> Those kind of things. Uh, Dakari Johnson, I want to shoot more 12 footers. Okay. Okay. I want to shoot more around those elbows. I want to shoot more step outs. Well, the other day in practice, he made five. Short corner, short corner, elbow, guys are going nuts. Now, do I want him off the block? No. But look, this isn't just about us winning. I'll give an example. They said Dakari Johnson against Louisville. He got you 11 rebounds. Yeah, but he hurt himself because he couldn't get the ball to the basket. He was too slow. He looked slow and unathletic. He helped us win, but he hurt himself. We came back and said, it's all good. Okay, you got us. But no, not for you. So again, this is not just, if I worry about them, believe me, you can't say they're not worried about team and they're only worried about themselves. You can't. You, well, no, let me take it back. You can say it and then say it over and over and over and hope it's true. But when you watch this team play, you say, this is an unselfish group, boy. They play for each other. Well, then my job is to play coach for them. And that's what we're trying to do. Last question. Cal, you talk so much about clutter and all the outside stuff. How has Andrew dealt with all this talk since the game? I don't, I don't think he's listened to it. I know I haven't. All we did is got back to work and you know, made some adjustments for him and the other guards and said, OK, all right, this is what works. This is what doesn't work. And let's keep going. But it's like anything else. I mean, you know, Willie, after that game, said, I played awful. You know, and they're not machines. I say it all the time. He didn't play well. The UCLA game, I wish he could duplicate that 28 times. Guess what? Hard to do. What did he want to add, John, to his team, Andrew? He's wanting to do some mid-level pull-ups and some runners in the lane and do all that stuff. And I said, let's go. Elbow jumpers pull up. You know, so there, it, again, you know, some of the stuff, I had him go directly to the coaches. Some of the stuff I, I asked him, what are you thinking about? Uh, and we did a couple other things that were geared toward individual players. And again, people may say it's crazy. You're at Christmas and you're talking about individual guys getting better and you're not worried about your team. They worry about the team. I'm trying to worry about them.